right. Okay, let me see if I can get myself in. Send request, sending request, accepting request, <laughs> all these different phones. <laughs> all the buttons that you have to hit. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think we are on. All right. Let we me are in. Yay. A little yeah. bit. You guys, <laughs> welcome. Welcome to episode number 74. Today is Halloween. Woohoo! <laughs> this better light. No, I'm just shiny. All right. I'm That's just going right. to I'm a shiny pumpkin today. <laughs> I am. I am Hermione from. Well, I should have been awesome. I am. Or no, I kind of need this. Um, this is so Harry good Potter. for a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who, um, this is our second Halloween episode, and Vita and I really kind of get into it. Last year, we did a throwback, and we dressed up like we were from the 80s and displayed um, uh, window treatments from the 80s. So this year's Halloween episode, um, with the lovely uh, help of Stephanie Hamilton and her creative thinking, we are going to be featuring window treatments in spooky Halloween movies. Yeah, yeah, yes. Very excited. Started. First one up, Adam's family. <laughs> so it's the Adam's family. So what is more quintessential of Halloween and whatnot than the Adam's family? And um, it's a true testament to set designers and whatnot to really think about the details. I don't know about you, Vita, but I often find myself when I am watching movies or television mm -hmm. shows, uh, the first thing I look at on the set are the window treatments. I was totally where I go. I look at window treatments. Yeah, <laughs> I went to to go. What do you know? Instead of historical places, I'm looking at windows of people. Yeah. I'm looking into people's windows, but not to see them, but but the window treatments that they have. Yeah, yeah it's so, a, it's it's a window treatment professional. Yes. So in this um in this slide, what you can see, this is a replica of the uh, primary bedroom in the movie, and um, what we have here are the swags and the jebos and the tie backs and um I, it might be a little hard to tell on instagram but um and on facebook but the windows have uh tiny shutters on them uh -huh. like full size shutters at that full size yeah and like the very thin 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 uh -huh. Flats that are no longer available, so let's not. They let's are no say, longer available, just the two inch or just one and seven inch. eighths or something yes. like that. <laughs> so let's not say, I want those shutters because we can't get them as magical as we can be sometimes. We can't pull that one off. Um, but what I, I what I like about this picture, and you tell me what your opinion is, Vita, is, you know, normally we tie back the drapes on the outer side uh -huh. of the yeah, window, right. and they decided to tie them in. Actually, the, towards the center. You're right. That is center. interesting. Good so eye. I, I did not I, even notice that, but good eye, Kim. That was the first thing I noticed when Stephanie sent us um, the slides for this week, and I was like, huh, well, I, I would have never thought to do that. I now, know. you know, it's, it's a perfect example of how it can be done. Now, this is also an example how we used to do window treatments, you know, 15, 20 years ago with all the things. All the now things and all the layers, right? I mean, there's like three, four layers happening here in this picture. Never mind all the, the draping that's happening over the bed. We're not even going to get into that whole. And I love the crown or yeah. the ornament that's happening. Brown and mon I just think it's super cool. I think, right, the, the set designers did a fabulous job here. But just fun to look at pictures like that. Yes. Okay. All right. Here we have... Okay, here we have the American Horror Story. Yes. <laughs> the picture doesn't look horrific, actually. The window treatments are actually very, very pretty. And again, here, it seems like it's a common theme among all of these older movies. We have very traditional tied back panels. We have another layer of swags. We have another layer of cascades or jabots, whichever way you want to call it. It's usually tied back with a very pretty um, long, big tassel. It's just um, super pretty and super fun. I love the rich red fabric here. Again, Against the yellow walls just what a great job they did now american horror story okay now here's another thing full disclosure folks <laughs> Rita and i when we got on this now this topic was brought to us by stephanie stephanie hamilton who helps us um 
create the slides every week for uh, Window Treatment Friday Live. So big shout out to Stephanie. Because I don't think we ever really give her props on this, definitely. but like, oh yeah, definitely for sure. I mean, there, there's a, there's a team behind this. Yes. So we we get to talk about these lovely pictures, but they appear because of Stephanie's hard work, and she also has created our topics for like the next three months. Because Vita and I are so entrenched in window treatments, we're like. Does someone really want to learn about that? And so, so when true. we saw this topic um, for today's episode, it was really exciting. So she actually picked all the um, window treatments for us today. And fun fact, I didn't know this about Vita, and this is how much we are the same. We both don't like scary movies. Oh, my God. Nikki, I honeymooned across the street from the Chess Covent House in NOLA. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How cool. Tell us more, Nikki. <laughs> yes, because we don't know anything. Like We know about window treatments, but I'm pretty sure American Horror Story Coven is a TV show that goes on. It's, it's, um, like, a, it's like a mini series of TV shows. Like there's American Horror Story and then a whole mm -hmm. other series. I tried watching it once. Like Lady Gaga was mm -hmm. on it. Sarah right. Paulson. So yep. it's... Um, yeah. I love Claire Paulson, by the way. Yes, I do too. And I tried to watch it because of her and it's not my thing. Sorry. No, but... I mean, both Kim and I, we're, we're, we kind of go like this with all oh. the scary movies. So it is a little this um, is a scary, out of our is element. This is scary that I'll get. Okay. So yes, <laughs> the house is an amazing, amazing mansion. Yeah. So it's really testament. So it is kind of funny that when you think about scary movies, even ones that like they're shows that they're filming today that they choose to go into a traditional element mm -hmm. um, such as this and i guess it also has to do with the period of the um of in which when, was, yeah. when, they're, when they're shooting the film exactly the show. this i may have to watch because it just looks super beautiful i know i know <laughs> i'll just watch it for the window treatments and the pretty sets and the rest and then of I'll, like I'll, this. I'll watch it like this so i'll watch it like staring at my phone Exactly. Okay, so this is not so scary, but again, <laughs> a true testament to um, what the details go into this. This is actually the Haunted Mansion in um, at Disneyland, um, and the fact that they went through all this detail, and again, I guess, you know, when you think of Haunted Mansions, you think of old homes from, you know, hundreds of years ago. And these are the types of window treatments that they would have a very traditional sensibility. I'm very curious to see in a hundred years what the window treatments would be like in a haunted mansion of a home of today, white panels <laughs> and a black French return rod. Yes, exactly. And, and a leading edge. <laughs> and, a, and a cool trim, a Samuel and Son fat leading trim. On, exactly, yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, it's all going to be like bloody and stained and Yeah, ripped. maybe. That's okay, that's do. how we can make it a little bit more scary. But you see how much detail they go into this, in, especially this is a ride. This is an amusement park attraction. And mm -hmm. even the designers of this, of the wonderful world of Disney, they decided to really go for it with the tassels and yep. all the fringe yep. and the swags. And it looks like it's a velvet fabric. It is. It is. It's yeah. actually, it's velvet on the top. Um, it's a little hard to see on yeah. Instagram. So I'm looking at it on my screen. There's actually two different colors happening here. The mm -hmm. swags are in this beautiful rich blue and the panels are in beautiful rich red and everything is trimmed out in huge bullion fringe. So that's what makes it like super rich and just a, uh, textured and amazing looking and Vita is going to somehow try to figure out how to bring this back everybody I would love to bring this back you guys I'm on the mission to bring back the swag and the cascade and the tie back panel I love the layered look as a business person all the business people out there window treatment business people think about how cool and great it will be for us as business people so just think about that not for aesthetic but for business that's what I'm really about well I you're just doing you're still doing a lot of that style oh, in savannah so lucky i'm oh. moving to savannah <laughs> <laughs> no you can't leave me uh <laughs> all right vertigo have you seen this one i haven't seen this one however because it is an alfred hitchcock movie again not my thing however yeah. but i did yeah 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 the psycho Different movie, um, but still <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, lots of historic homes. Yes, I definitely want to visit Savannah, Georgia. And if I ever go down there, Nikki, that is on my bucket list. I'm definitely giving you a call. Um, Nikki was. Uh, classmates. Yes, Nikki is a classmate. We are we are a classmate in Vita's class at Luan University. 
and we were also classmates at uh, Power Talk Friday. Oh, um, how cool! Yes, that's where Nikki recently and I, or a while back. Yes, this this past okay. this past oh. class in High Point. So Nikki oh, and I are we are she, she's stuck with me for life now. She doesn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> But so what, what's interesting about this um, set is, you know, it's not like this historical from 1800s or 1700s. This is what, like 1950s, 1960s? 1958, yeah. Okay. So, you know, no tie backs, no swags, no cascades, no bullion fringe. It's what kind of like the uh, mid-century modern look sort of kind of, and that what we get on the windows are these uh, woven wood shades that is unknown exactly how they lift up, how they race. I'm pretty yeah, sure they just kind of like roll up like that or maybe roll yeah. a little bit. <laughs> but it's kind of cool to see what they had back there, back then in, and clearly it's in the city, it's apartment and uh, it's full of stuff. And the window treatments are kind of an afterthought, unlike the previous pictures. Right. And what it's, it, you know what, it's a true testament of what's old is new and what's new is old type of thing, because you know, they were putting window treatments um, or uh, woven woods on windows back in 1958. And now woven woods are, have made a comeback. They're all the rage. You can get them in different colors. You can get them with, you know, trim, motorized, all the things. Yeah. So it's just um, really interesting when you really look back on the history of window treatments, huh? An episode thought there, um, mm -hmm. that to see what the, something that they used you know, however many years ago, I can't yeah. do that math in my head. <laughs> That's um, right. uh, <laughs> and, uh, and now that it's something that we're still using today now, not so much the traditional swags and, and whatnot, um, depending, I guess, on what part of the country you live in, yeah, but in the Northeast, we don't, unfortunately, Yeah, but something like this, we're definitely using this. So we now. sell a lot of woven woods here yeah. in the Northeast. Totally. Um, I would say in terms of hard treatments, I mean, I don't know the exact percentage. I, I don't track it that way, but just on kind of intuitively, I want to say that majority of our sales are in two categories, woven woods and roller shades with mm -hmm. a little bit of like shutters and blinds and maybe a couple of cell shades and so forth. So maybe that's about 20%, like the remainder, mm -hmm. but the ma majority, 80%, I'm thinking it's about 40, 40, 40, 40. 40 equal mm -hmm. between rollers and woven woods and woven woods have really made a comeback i mean it's incredible and for me kim i don't know about you but it feels like just in the last maybe year maybe two years if i really thought back about it that it's like the huge resurgence of of woven woods and of course not the woven woods we used to do back in the 90s or the beginning of 2000s yeah. where there were browns and yellows and golds and a lot of that tuscan look which is what we're seeing kind of in the picture. Um, but now it's all about the white and the gray and the weathered look, and it's all very streamlined and simple with not a whole lot of slats or imperfections. That's what I'm seeing. Oh, who's our favorite vendor for Woven Woods? Oof. I'm liking Lafayette Woven Woods right now. They do have a longer lead time, but... That's who I'm using. Vita has her go-to over wood source. Um, so the one that I would recommend here on air yeah. <laughs> is um, Pro Design, actually. Yeah. Um, Pro Design, a wonderful company, I believe out of California. The salesperson there, or like the account service manager, her name is Emma Riley, one of the most terrific, most helpful um, salespeople I've ever worked with, like really, really great. And they have various collections. They have Arcadia, they have Walden Premier, Walden Select, and um, I think three books. And, and recently, Kim, I don't know if you know this, they came out with woven wood roller shades. Oh, I did not know that. So I'm yeah, ding, 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 ding. Yep, yep, yep. And wow, so they did this presentation, the webinar. So I went on it to be like, like roller shades in woven woods. How does that work? And and they did. So I've actually ordered the sample book. Should be coming in any day now. So I'm really looking forward to because roller shades are so popular because they roll yeah. up practically nothing versus woven woods that stack so there's definitely that stack on the window so they somehow married the two so we have the beauty of the woven woods hopefully rolled into a small head rail and I'm very curious did, to see did you order a hand sample to see uh -huh. yep okay let me know you I let will. me know how that goes and then um we'll report back We'll report back. Yeah. yeah. We'll but yes I, I can I really highly recommend pro design Nikki so check them out. Yeah.
Okay. Oh, so. Harry Potter. That's all you, Kim. <laughs> okay. Um, this is one uh, movie genre or series that I love. I actually watched um, part six and part seven last night of the last movie. <laughs> <laughs> to, to prepare, right? No, well, no. I just, was prepared. <laughs> I was just in the mood to, like, I get in these weird moods. I have read every single book. Oh, um, you did. You've actually read it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Awesome. That was that was a big rule. Like when the Harry Potter series first started, um, my older cousin actually got me into them. And when the movie was coming out, she said that she um, she's ten years older than me and thirteen years older than my sister. Oh, so wow. um, when the first movie came out, I was a freshman in high school. So very, very, very long time ago. And so <laughs> she had said the only way that she would take us to go see it is if we read the book. So oh, okay. that was the rule. She said, so the movie comes out on this day. You have to read the books. My sister had already read the book. So I read the book and that was, um, that became a thing in our family that you couldn't go watch the movie unless you read the book. That's pretty and cool. So, like that. um, yeah. Hey, so Gina. I, Hey Gina, I have read every single book. Um, this character, so I, I, I can talk a lot about this slide in this office space. Um, I have only till 9.20. I got to bolt out of here, you guys, at 9.20. That's always started a bit early because of my daughter's uh, Halloween parade. Cannot miss that. And they only so, do one loop, not two like they usually do, just one. So I have to be out of here. That's so obnoxious. Okay. So with this, this is uh, Professor Umbridge's office um, over at Hogwarts, and um, her character is although a very rotten woman, um, is very girly and is very obsessed with cats. Those plates are different cats um, on, uh, have different cats on them. And because of her very girly aesthetic, and we are talking about um, Harry Potter and Hogwarts, so you really have that traditional sensibility. And I still remember when this movie came out, I wasn't quite in the window, no. I wasn't in the window treatment. In high school, yet. you weren't. Yeah. No, 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 no. This one, this one is later on. This. Oh, oh okay. Out. The book, the first book you read in high school. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This movie, I believe, came out in two thousand and seven. But, okay. but I was still in interior design school. So, and I coming from a window treatment background with my grandmother and that whole history of the whole thing. Um, you know, I've always been obsessed with window treatments. So, that was one of the first things that caught my eye with with this scene was not you know, what was happening. It was like, wow, they really went for it here. They really did a they really did up the window treatments. What you have on the window is a sheer lace rod pocket panel um, with the whole embroidered um, sheer, which is something you don't really see. Nowadays, you have um, a big purple tie back panel because purple and pink are the character's favorite colors. And then you have these board mounted shirt swag uh, balances over top that go around the perimeter of the space connecting the windows on either side of the office. So even in something as simple as Harry Potter that doesn't really have in terms of a historical time period like the Addams Family or, you know, American Horror Story, The Covet, this was something that when you, they, they don't really tell you what year in which Harry Potter is being filmed. It's almost like even in the later movies, they flash back, it's like, you know, London current times, but it kind of flip flops. So that's the kind of cool thing. You never really know what time period you're in with it. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something that I appreciate. And um, they have other series like the Fantastic Beasts. If you really want to get like old school set um, window treatments and things like that, check out that whole series um, from wow. the Potter world because those are those are from about the 1920s. So you really, they really go for it there as well. So <laughs> look at you, you're like our yeah. resident Harry Potter. I'm um, a little Harry no, Potter no. nerd. I love it. I, 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 I love yes. It. I'm going to Florida in a month and hopefully going to Harry Potter world. I'm very That's excited. That's awesome. So <laughs> yeah, my exposure to Harry Potter, I did not read the books, uh, admittedly, but we did watch, I believe, three movies because my son read all the books. My son okay. is 12. And we we read, uh, we read, we, we watched the three movies. And then by the third, I think, uh, my daughter, who is eight, and we probably watched the last one maybe a year ago, it was too scary for her. And we didn't want to exclude her. So yeah. we can't not watch the fourth and, and so on until she gets a little bit older and can really appreciate yeah. and at least not be scared because there's some they, parts that they, are pretty scary there and they get they get darker as the as the books go on and as his yeah. story goes on like even yeah. last night i was like oh i didn't remember 
that happening. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's yeah. a little scary. All right, good to know. So I think we're going to yeah. wait a few more years until Anna gets older and can really yeah. handle it. Yeah. <laughs> But you know what, as you were talking, you gave me two great ideas for oh. uh, for shows for next topic. So I will share them with you off air for all of you guys to stay tuned. <laughs> all right. And our last picture is Stranger Things season one. So that is the movie that I did watch. Actually, I was super scared the whole time. You watched but Stranger Things? Okay. Is it really did. that scary? It's um there there's some scary for me for me you know I again I'm not into scary horror things I'm not you. into scary things you know like <laughs> I mean I can't even do Freddy Krueger like I I can't I just I I just get I uh, it, it gets yeah. to me so but I did watch scary scary things um Stranger, Stranger Things, things. <laughs> um I think there's two seasons or three seasons at that point I don't and know. another one coming out yeah. it's it's an awesome show you absolutely have to watch it it is set um I think in the 80s yes and so that hence show, yeah. Right, right. So the whole eight is right. And the, the kids and how they grow up and like, it's just, it's, it's scary on one side, but on the other side, it's incredibly heartwarming. It's a wonderful love story. It's a, a there's a interwoven thread of family love and, and how friends and family members support each other, how community supports each other. Um, there is just, there's a lot of really soulful moments in this show combined with some really scary things so what the and all of it said in the 80s and of course me being growing up in the 80s that's just <laughs> it taps into a, a part of me that is deep inside there that I probably buried but it, it's still there <laughs> you know, there's a kid in me that's like that was me on I don't know and with the it, with those tight shorts <laughs> and gym class <laughs> and, and, and the guests the guest clothes like everyone wore guest jeans and the whitewash jeans and the whitewash overalls from yeah yep 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 guilty yes guilty. and the crimped hair oh my god yes so so now back over to window treatments i mean these are quintessential 80s window treatments right you you put the rod just over the window barely and you go just to the sill or just past the sill i don't think they knew the the idea of going to the floor was totally foreign to them and so looking at these kind of uh tiny little curtains it just yeah, I mean it's a scary movie or show, but I look at the curtains and I can't help but laugh. So yeah. <laughs> it's a wonderful juxtaposition for me of scary and laughable at the same time. And the whole plaid vibe, because that was totally something that oh you my did. god. I mean the couch, the, the wallpaper, the yeah. floral wallpaper with the plaid curtains, with the weird rug, with the throw over the sofa i mean the whole thing is just you know you gotta smile you know you gotta yeah. smile and just have fun with this <laughs> so anyway um we are uh done with our almost done with our halloween episode here yeah. we wanted to show some uh, window treatments from some scary movies with you guys kim and i always have lots of fun for these halloween episodes i can't wait to see what we come up with next year but uh, we can't let you go of course until we share some of our free resources with you from vitalia inc there's a curated lookbook filled with inspiration and education we call it 37 and a half window treatment ideas that you can still swipe and use immediately on your next design project all right and if you are new to the window treatment game and you just saw this episode don't worry we are not doing window treatments like this we have uh, <laughs> modernized the whole aesthetic but luann wrote a uh ebook um architectural digest is incoming 10 things you need to know about custom window treatments it's a uh, window treatment 101 so head on over to windowworks and get your copy today <laughs> And for those interior designers who are in the Philadelphia area, if you are looking for support with window treatments, please give us a call. Vitalia Inc. is a one-stop shop, your go-to white glove concierge level service exclusively for luxury interior designers ready to fly first class in the world of window treatments. So give us a call, DM, PM me, and I would love to support you in your next project. And if you are in the New Jersey and New York area and you have a uh, window treatment or an awning project that you need help on, please give us a call. We would be happy to help you figure out all those ninja details um, because that is our job to figure them out and so you don't have to worry about them.
Nuji details. I love it. That's a that's a term that Kim coined that I use all the time with my clients now. <laughs> and remember you, my friend. All right, yes. you guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Happy Halloween. Hope you have a yes. great time. Don't eat too much candy. <laughs> Be safe out there at trick-or-treating. And thank you for joining us. And join us every Friday here at 9 o'clock because if it's Friday, it's Window Treatment Friday Live. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Have, Have a great, great week. Day. Bye. Bye.